Hey, welcome in people. We got Bells here bright and early. Matt and Kian. Um Thank you for that bells as well. We'll get that pinned. We continue our Walking Dead story. Episode 5. This is the last part of season 2. We know it's going to be emotional. We already know. Killing one in order to save many is part of survival. I only Welcome in, Jacob. I'll put you out of your misery right then. When I look at Kenny now, he just, he seems broken. Broken people get reckless. Here. Thanks. Things start heading south. Don't let them drag you down with them. Two nil to Wells. I saw it. there were one nil. Up. Everybody be cool. Yeah, we started a, a hellfire. I think someone else would have just shot her anyway. So. Plus, like. No, no, look, we'd have told Kenny, Kenny turns around, shoots her, then everyone starts giving Kenny shit. At least this time they, they'll be giving us shit. Which I can take. I feel like we're going to get called straight into action here, so I keep my wits about me. Let's go, I'm ready, I'm ready. Shit. Just so people know, I'm not going to be reading chat too much, like in the middle of cutscenes and stuff. Just so we know. hate this child. I kill every one of you. That's good, Matt. If I can just get over to that side of the wall, I can maybe get an angle on this guy. Cover me, alright? Just shoot over towards the woods. Hey, it'll give him something to think about. Just long enough for me to make it over there. Yeah, okay. Good. Good. I just need the distraction. Okay? Alright, on my go. Nice one, Kenny. We barely know you did. Luke, I'm sorry. We did what we were told. He got me in the leg, but I think I think it went straight through. Shit, I don't know. I'm gonna be fine. I think I'm gonna be fine. Someone take the child off me. 
Honestly, hey, let's take this child off me. I don't want it. Yes. I'm not, I don't like Arvo. I think he's a prick. Leave him alone, Kenny. Shut up, Bonnie. No, I'm ending this. Get out here right fucking now. Pick up the gun. No way of saving Sarah, no. See, I can't remember what I did before. But I, um... Ah, she never left us. I, um... Just speaking Russian is honestly fantastic subtitles. Like, thank you. Couldn't, couldn't tell. <laughs> it helps me so much to understand what's going on. Um, pause in a second while I chat. Yeah, I left Sarah this time. So I saved her from the, um, saved her and Luke. Like I saved her then when she was like in a little, like date, whatever she was in. I think she was having like a psychotic, like sort of breakdown. Like she just shut down, didn't she? Um, and the thing is, like we were saying then, She's never going to make it, Sarah. Never going to make it. Unless she changed her ways fast, she was never going to make it. Um, she needed, like, a therapy or something. Like, she needed, like, actual proper help, help. Um, can't expect Clem to be able to give that, you know. We, we helped her and we were able to save her and get her out. But then when she fell down... It's unfortunate because she didn't really get herself killed. Like, it was genuinely an accident that could have happened to anyone. She was just standing in the wrong place. But then she didn't move, did she? And yeah, she was a bit stuck. But I don't know. I just think it was inevitable. I think with the amount of times we'd Safe saved Sarah out. anyway, we were just delaying the inevitable. Here, I got him. In a situation like that, it was like, I'd rather just help Jane. Good job, Kenny. Jesus Christ. That was, uh, that was intense. I thought, man, I thought that was it. Yeah, it was for these assholes. Are you, are you okay? I'm not gonna be mad at her for leaving. It's her choice to leave. Like we're not. I didn't know this man. I never killed someone that didn't belong to me in some way. That didn't deserve it. Tried to pretend he was a walker, but it's different. I didn't think it would be. I'm sorry. You had to. It's a hard thing to do. Why do I get the feeling you know? Oh yeah. We do indeed. But no, like, we're not Carver. To, nobody has to stay with us. Uh, you sure about this? You sure about this? As sure as I'm gonna be. I didn't want to say to her, you can still leave. That makes her sound unwanted. Like, she isn't, but she's, it's not. I ain't gonna be shitty with her for leaving. I think it was something to do with the pregnant, uh, the labor. Did what she had to to protect the child. This isn't your fault, okay? She just, she just lost too much blood. It ain't nobody's nope. fault. You <clears> saved <throat> the boy's life. You know we could have done better by her. She was just too far gone. She's with Alvin now. Yeah, that's a nice yeah. thought. Yeah, she is. 
Oh yeah, Botrix is like taken over my name now. So yeah, that's that's the new Botrix. No, I think no, Arthur no, deserves it. It's over, man. He ain't a threat to us. How can you say that? I'm with Kenny. He crossed us. Whoa, what are you doing? I'm doing the same thing this asshole tried to do to us. It doesn't have to go down like that. Kenny, please. It's I'm not intervening. Kid, man. I ain't saying nothing. I ain't saying nothing. Let us have food. Please. please I haven't trust him. Bullshit. No, no. It's true. We have placed. Not far. The food. See? He wants to help. Oh, don't be Eat a pal world, man. Yeah. To save his skin. Why the hell would you help us? Huh? I and I want to see more people dead. Then close your eyes and I'll make <laughs> it Kenny, back off. If he's telling the truth, it could save We do need the food. And if it's a trap, we'll all be dead. We need the food. None of this will matter if we all starve to death. She's right, Kenny. We're running low on supplies as it is. It's worth the risk to check this place out. Trust him, don't trust him. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm with them on this. I don't trust him. I don't you like him. Careful. It can't be far from here. You stay out of this. You're the reason these fuckers came after That's us harsh. in the first place. Don't try and pin this on me. It's my fault too. Kenny. She just helped us. I was there with her. It's my fault too. Think about the baby, Kenny. If there are supplies, we need them. We ain't gonna last much longer without more food. We gotta take a chance. Unless someone's got a better plan. Yep, take the chance. We got something to tie this shit bird up. Yeah, I got some. Nice. Follow me, I take you. Just give me a reason. Yeah, man, he gets it. I don't get why they're being so cranky with Kenny. Like, I would be very skeptical as well. He literally just led us. Well, he his group just ganged up on us. They were laughing at us as well. And then look at what they've done. Look, I know you're probably pissed about. I'm not pissed. Because when I heard the gunshots, I, I knew it was a mistake. If it helped, the thing I'd normally do is walk away for good. But I didn't. Honestly. Despite what my instincts are telling me. I'm glad you're back. Everything I've seen. I'm not pissed. I'm glad you're back. I didn't want you to go in the first place. Thanks. That's, that's good. Because you're probably 90% of the Besties. And it'd probably get pretty annoying if you hated me the whole time. I wouldn't want it to be annoying. No. That would suck. I'm gonna try to make this work. All I can do is... Promise you I won't abandon you again. Which, to be fair, I've never done before. Even though I probably should have. A few times now. Yeah, there's a lot of them on Twitch. Huh. You forget what we just went through? We ain't going anywhere, Kenny. No need to get your arm all sore. I'm worried about Kenny. Why? He's, he's, in he's fine. Place. They yeah, proper he's dramatize him. like Kenny's Everything dark mood so much. Stop criticizing him. Changing him. So this is you making it work? You don't have to constantly be criticizing him. I'm not. I'm pointing it out. As a precaution. Kenny isn't perfect, but like I wish people would just get off his case for five minutes. That he really trusts. That means you're the one that's gonna have to pull him back. He's counting on me. And if we're really gonna make this work, I'll do my best. Like they don't realize that they literally make Kenny worse in constantly doubting him and criticizing him, criticizing him. And questioning him like I don't think Kenny actually acts that badly like trying to shoot that that lad like he ain't exactly a kid he's older than Clem for a start and secondly it, look at what he just caused like I don't I don't trust him I don't blame Kenny Come on, slow pokes. I'm not saying he deserved to get shot but I'm just saying I could see why Kenny was pissed and wanted to, like, given everything that he's been through. I, I don't get why they're all so on his case all the time. Like, give the man a break. The thing is, they don't... I guess, like, we're biased. Not, not really biased, but we've seen more to know the full story with Kenny, whereas they haven't. They don't know, like, what it was like before with Lee and when he had his wife and his son and all of that. <sighs> I get you know they didn't experience that. Wait, we need to stop. No, 
But yeah, they like to just. Hey, I just need a second. Sorry, I just, I just put more weight on They just on like to pick on Kenny. All right, wait there. Hey, what I say? They all know each other and they're a group. I tell you something, you fucking listen, you understand? Kenny, come on. There's no need for that. He's getting Yeah, he does. He is. I agree. I agree. I'm fucking talking to you. I right. Stop. He you understands. Stop. Kenny. He understands. Just fucking stay put. I'm gonna have a word with Kenny. He doesn't have to treat him that way. Kid's been through enough. Mike. Right here. Yeah, yeah. That's Go a bad idea, Mike. Mike. I got Clem if I need anything. Okay. Here, just take the baby. Okay. Do not give me that baby. <sighs> what is it with you guys? What do you mean? Every man I've known is always trying to let each other know how tough they are. Put them in their yep. place. Bunch of dominant alpha males. Bonnie is speaking facts right here. All into Absolute facts. But don't look at me. I ain't that guy. Oh, that yeah. Ain't true. You get in your fair share of pissing. He does. Too. I do pay respect too. I don't know why it has to be that way. It just is. Get two of them in a room, and it's just a matter of time before they're challenging each other with something stupid. Yeah. <laughs> Suppose I've been in enough spitting contests to agree no. with you. No, stop it. Get off Kenny's back. Mm. Guess it took a woman to talk some sense into him. Looks like Jane Wind broke it your up. neck in. Keep pressure on it, okay? I'm gonna go fetch some bandages. Hey, Bonnie. Yeah? I'm sorry. For what? I'll be right back. Huh? Whoa, whoa. What have I missed? Oh, no, no, the tea. Tell me the tea. Oh, God. Don't do that. Damn it. How are you feeling? If I'm being honest, I, I've been better. Get here. <laughs> we walked. Try not to think about it. Sitting in the snow, leaning up against a tree, bullet in my leg. But alive. Yep. <laughs> when so many of my friends are dead for no good reason, and I couldn't do it. That's the way of the world, I'm afraid. No. Everyone we set out with just gone. Alvin and Becca, Carlos, Sarah, and for what? They don't make any sense. You can't blame yourself. Welcome in, Matty. It wasn't your fault. No, not completely. I could have done more, and that ain't up for debate. I know it in my bones, and I gotta live with it. All right, this should work. That's perfect. What I missed? Uh, nothing much. You know, complaining, mostly. Trying to guess how far this place is. I'd like to get off this leg sooner than later. I was just mentioning how cold it is lately. Yeah. Good thing you got that cool jacket, huh? <laughs> I'm sure most of that'll come out with a little soap and water. I'm fine. Hey, Clem. Go over and see if you can change the bandages on Kenny's wound. I offer Good, Matty. How are you? Comfortable with me doing it. But you know him better than yep. I do. Maybe he'll let you do it. Okay. Atta girl. That's gonna sting, but only for a second. It's gonna clean it. Oh, I know what it does. It's gonna suck. It's gotta get done. Two one and a half time, is it? Can do it. Come on.
I think we just gotta be bossy with him. I was thinking we go with Alvin Jr. That's perfect. Rebecca mentioned she'd like to name him Alvin if it was a boy. I mean, Rebecca was so out of it she hadn't settled on a name. I think his parents would have liked that. Yeah. Me too. Alvin Jr. it is. Do you like that? Well, I think AJ. AJ. What do you uh, got there? Because I think I'm all right. I mentioned it earlier. Bonnie. I'm changing your bandage. Sounds like I don't have much choice. You don't. <laughs> yeah, I think you just got to give Kenny a firm hand, you know. Shouldn't have to do a lot of things. All right. I think I he's like submissive to to bossy women. Come on. Let's have a look at how ugly you are now, Ken. Going to be okay? Oh, I'll be fine, darling. Gonna take a lot more than a couple smacks with the radio to take <laughs> me in. Fair enough, Matty. So, I'm guessing this is going to be the shitty part. So this is going to hurt like hell. Well, you could have lied a little. <laughs> what good would that do? Just don't drop the fucking baby, please. Uh, holy fucking hell. Yep. You need to stop squirming. Yes, Clem. Yeah. Yeah, okay. You're right. We should tell Kenny about the dog bite that we had to sew up ourselves. He'd be well proud of us. Sorry Fucking badass. You gonna be tougher than me when you're grown. I'm gonna expect you to be more of a gentleman than I am. Man, is that smart. He'll be tough. Just like his dad. Oh, Alvin didn't look it. But yeah, that guy had a pair on me. You were right about me giving myself up. I can't believe I was willing to sacrifice Alvin just to hold out a little longer. We should have saved him soon. Got him out of the camp. I'm gonna think about that every time I look at him. Ah, it ain't your fault, Kenny. Not at all, mate. Alvin should be here raising this boy. It should We're be all at fault. Not me. We all could have done more. It's everyone's fault, not just yours. You did your best. You ain't to blame. Kenny, you're so cute. See, they don't see this side to Kenny that we see. There we go. Oh, you've all cleaned up now. All done. Thank you, sweetie. Yep. Are we ready to go? Let's head out. I did upload a uh, video today. I think I've got a short upload in tomorrow as well. Hey, I'm talking to you. What? It, it, it's what? What do you mean, what? The place you're fucking taking us. He doesn't speak much English. Arvo, is this where the supplies are? Where the food is? Answer her, goddammit. No, it's at the house. It's still more walk. God damn it! I knew this was gonna happen. This yeah. Fucked up. Uh, thank you. Don't mention it. It's getting dark. Maybe we should stop for the night. This is bullshit. Relax. Don't tell me to relax. He's lying. He's been lying this whole time. I think we should spend the night here if it's safe. It's a big if. Well, there's a fence which would help with walkers. Maybe. Can we just try and have a calm 
Thank you, Clem. Yes. That sounds nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. Sorry about that. It's all right, buddy. It's all right. If you're saying we should scout this place out. All right. Y'all wait here. I'll go make sure this ain't some walker nest we're locking ourselves into. I'll go with you. Uh, see if, uh, see if you can calm it down a bit. No, that's all you. Yeah. Don't even. I ain't no natural. Think you like Don't. You. you can stop as well. Calmed right down for you. That's a good sign. It's cute, but he's not. He's cute. He's not. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Most babies are pretty ugly this soon <laughs> after being born. That's true. They usually look like weird little aliens. Here, thank I you. Him. You take him. Ultimate birthday. Come on over. Push the hole. Is that <sighs> nice? Yeah, I was gonna do ultimate team tonight, but I heard that there were some problems with rivals and stuff. So I thought we'll just chill, do some walking dad instead. Um, my sister passed a driving test today, so we've we both worked together, both finished at five, and then came home and my mum put like a, did a little party, a little spread. So that's why I didn't stream for a bit until now. Today's my birthday. Here as I can tell, at least. Happy birthday, Luke. Yeah, man. Happy birthday. Thanks. So, that makes you... What? 27? That's, that's right. I'm surprised you remember. Sure as hell feel a lot older. Don't even start with that shit. Got out of college five years ago. Feels like a million years. At least I don't have to worry about paying off them student loans. I hear that. I'm sure there's some asshole sitting on that paperwork, waiting to collect. What did you study? Majored in art history. That's cool. <laughs> Sounds like you majored in working in a coffee shop. Pretty much. Oh, stop it. You get a minor in agriculture. Keep the old man happy. Oh, I almost forgot. I was saving it for a special occasion, and while it being your birthday and all, figure... This is as good a time as any. I'm not going to say anything. We're a kid. We ain't got a drink. Feel a little guilty taking the first Whoa, dinner. wait. You got to make a toast. I'm not really the, uh... Come on, birthday boy. It don't have to be fancy. A toast means we all got something to drink. Oh, we can just pass the bottle around afterwards. Go on. <clears throat> to the loved ones that we've lost along the way and to the hope that we see them again someday here here that was nice. really nice yeah i didn't mean for it to rhyme that was... well i got first watch i think the fence has got us pretty secure can't be too careful baby might be cold i can take it nah you stay warm let him go. I'm gonna post up over near the hole in the fence there. Holler if you need anything. Thanks, Kenny. Oh, I think the speech, the, the little toast got to him, I think. Fire's real nice. Plenty of room if you want to get warm. Maybe in a bit. I didn't expect her to come back. And just when I thought I got her figured out, she up and surprises. It's a good thing. You saved our ass. Um, I know. I know. I'm it's glad she's here. I don't know what she's getting at all this. We're lucky to have her. I'm glad she's here. Well, she helped us back there. So that puts her as okay in my book. Well, it ain't no secret. Have you <laughs> yes, buddy. Oh, come on. I'm just teasing. Ed was stupid. I understand. She's a pretty girl. Once you get past all the dirty <laughs> rugs. I don't know. I guess I just wanted to forget about all this shit for like 10 minutes. 10 minutes? 
And that's longer than I'd last at this point. Hey. Jesus Christ, Mike. All right. All right, it wasn't ten years. Come on. We got a little one around. Sorry. Forget I said anything. I'm just not going to say anything. It's my fault for bringing it up. Ignorance is bliss. <laughs> it's just, yeah, I wouldn't hear anything. It's fine. <laughs> Maybe she came back for you. Could be. I'd come back no, for you. No, no let's let's just that. not say anything. Well, I guess we learned something. Yeah? Well, what's that? Luke's a regular Casanova. Hey, shut up. Don't be modest. Your moves are working on all the ladies. Works on me. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I just did it too, didn't I? So Luke's been there. Sorry. It's the drunk That's talking. why they say a drunk man's talk is a sober man's thought. Well, I ain't a man, so they can take that shit. That's somewhere. why he apologized to Bonnie, because he's he's been with Bonnie. Oh Clem, go see if you can get Jane and Kenny over by the fire. It's too cold for them to be out there like that. Oh, and here, maybe a swig of this. Alright. Bet. We'll start off with Jane. Because then Kenny's had a bit of time for himself, whereas Kane, it, Kane, fucking Kane, Jane hasn't sat with us the whole time. Come on. They expect you to lure me over there with alcohol. Yep. I wouldn't have expected a bottle to last this long. They just want you to feel welcome. It's warm over by the fire. What is it? <laughs> Rum? Looks like navy rum, which is dark rum, isn't it? I don't know. It, it, it won't be awkward. awkward. I wasn't expecting to, you know, be around. It will only be weird if you make it weird. Be cool. Hang out. Spoilers, they all know. It is. People just love making it harder than it has to be. Why does this feel like I'm signing a contract or something? That's really good. Have you had any? You want to sit? Yeah, no thanks. Okay. No thanks. I'm trying to sit back. <laughs> you can be the designated driver. I'm the joker. Cool. But I don't know how to drive though. It's easier now. There aren't any cops. I wasn't too much older than you when I had my first drink. God, I was so stupid back then. There was this time I broke into my parents' liquor cabinet and drank a whole bottle of this really spicy, sweet liquor. Oh, what was its name? Oh, it was dumb. Earthquake or something. Sounds like you were a bad kid. I guess I was. At the bottom of the bottle, there were these sugar crystals. And I got it in my head that I really wanted to eat a couple. So I got the bright idea to smash it on my parents' dining room floor to get at them. And it shattered into a thousand pieces. Did you ever get caught? Yeah. Mm hmm? The problem with glasses, it looks a lot like sugar crystals. That's never really been a problem for me. <laughs> My sister found me, drunk, blood pouring out of my mouth. Jamie thought I was dying, so she called 911. They pumped my stomach. Got grounded for six months. Holy shit. <laughs> I haven't thought about that in a long time. Right, now that story would have been a great little icebreaker over by the fire. I guess a deal's a deal. Here. Drink more than she looks tipsy. Oh, so I'm being nice to Kenny for a change. Trying to not make it weird. Just sit by Mike, then it's fine. Wanna sit here? No, that's. I'm fine. Oh, yeah, okay. Wherever you like. I 
miss TV. It feels like forever since we had electricity. Come on. Clam. Just uh, needed some air. Honey, there's air everywhere. <laughs> I'm sorry for, for how I acted back there after Serena. Oh. I just. He kindly apologized. That's nice. I'm sorry. You did what you. Yep, could. we did. You tried to help. Oh shit. Uh, I'm so so sorry. You don't have anything to apologize for. I know you do. Sorry, I've it. just not my PC. Thanks. Sorry, I'm trying to turn my radiator on. I miss my Cold. boy. I miss him oh. so much. I didn't raise him like I should have. Made mistakes. Wasn't there a whole lot for a couple years. Off on a boat somewhere or other. I thought I enjoyed that time away from him. Uh oh. Oh, Kenny. Play catch with Duck. Touch Conscious Face. I miss Duck too. He was a good friend. <clears throat> and I haven't had too many of them. Imagine if Duck Light was still there now. Wonder what he'd be like. I won't make the same mistakes again. That's a promise. You should get back over by the fire. Ain't no sense in both of us being over here. I can handle watch on my own. You should come too. I don't know. Come on. It'll be good for everyone. Yes. Yeah, okay. We did it. We did it. Jamie, you don't have to justify that with a response. Hey, I find it's best to just get this stuff out in the open. Less drama. <laughs> well, that's fine. But I can confirm there was no time for kissing. Oh dear. All right, enough of that. How you, Clem? It's nice to hear people laughing. Yeah, it is. We just spend so much time trying to stay alive. You don't get a chance to enjoy living. Yeah. We need to make more time for that. Alcohol helps. <laughs> Hell yeah, it does. Uh. Let me get that bottle. We got someone else that might need some help. Sounds like a waste of good rum. He lost his sister today. And whose fault was that? That makes it even harder to get over. Trust me. I don't like it either, but you shouldn't let it ruin a nice night. I said my piece. I agree. I don't think that boy's a bad person. I just think good people do bad things sometimes. And they do it a lot more nowadays with the world being what it is. So I think it's best Leave to... Leave me alone! Well, that went well. Sorry, okay? My fault. I shouldn't have... Leave me alone! Easy. It's okay. It's okay. He's in a better place. It's okay. It's okay. Maybe it's best if we all get some rest. 
Then I would tell Mama Walker about tomorrow. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'll take first. Well, I'm over in the mood. Thank you, Kenny. Really. I uh, don't mention it. You did good. It was nice to talk like that. Yeah, till I'm over in it with his screaming. Sure you're good. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. If I, if I start to crap out, I'll let you know. Okay, well you do that. No trouble. How much further? Close. Very close. You've been saying that every time I ask. Please. Come. I'm really starting to think you're full of shit. It can't be much further. Kenny, look out! What the fuck? Ah! Ah! Jesus Christ! That was close. Fucker came out of nowhere! That was real loud. Hopefully there aren't more of them. Yeah, well, let's move. We don't want to be around. I swear to God. It's very close. Come. If he lures us into a trap, I swear to God. I don't remember. See, I, I really don't. I remember a bit. It's a long time since I've played these games. Yeah. We're here for the supplies, not the house. It's warm. Fireplace. Very warm. I'd just like a place to sit, if I'm honest. As long as there's food, who cares what it looks like? You're not gonna think that when you wake up with a couple inches of snow covering you. Whoa, Slim. No spoilers, Slim. Are we just gonna walk over? Whoa. Maybe there's a way around. I don't see any. Otherwise, there's no point in me doing a playthrough if we're just gonna unveil all the story. He's saying it's fine. I go first. I can be front. If we just go real slow, it'll probably be okay. Yeah, no need to rush this. We need to spread out, just to be safe. Let's wait the better. Let the Rusky go first, since he's so confident. It's okay. I think all of us should cross. More's coming back to me now. I would never ever do this in real life by the way. Never do this chat. Not everyone knows Slim. Not, not the attitude to have at all. Not everyone knows. Matt doesn't. Not how we do playthroughs. We're okay. if, if people are going to ruin the story, I, I won't stream it. Simple as. Yeah, not, not, not great. Like I say, it, 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 putting story, like, spoilers in the chat just kind of undermines the whole playthrough. Yeah, please don't. Don't do it. That's too less to deal with. Just stay spread out and we'll be fine. Hey! Motherfucker! Shit! He's gonna kill us! <gasps> Kenny! Get back here, you piece of shit! I should let you drown, you piece of shit! Any of the risks. That, that's not the case though, Slim. Not everyone has seen every game. Like, not everybody has. Well, they made it. Th like, why would every single person watching have already seen it? You can't bank on... It's like saying everyone's seen the same movie. Like, no, nobody's, nobody's seen... Here. There's not one film that every single person in the world has seen. 
A lot of people, yeah. sure, but not every single person. You got walkers on the way. Let me help it's you. Too thin for both of us. I just, I just gotta be Plus, careful. there's people that watch this as a video as well. I'm fine. I'm fine. No, you're not. I just gotta pull myself out. You need help, Luke. The ice is too thin. I got it. You need to help. No. Clem, go. Go, go help no, him. No, Clem, Clem, do not. Just go back for him. You're blind. You Stop can do it. Stop telling her that. Clem, look at me. Pull out your gun and shoot those damn walkers, okay? Just give me a little time. Clem, you can make it, but you need to go. No. Now. Clem, this I'll is too dangerous. Him. Clementine, stop! Clementine! Just go back. Please. I got you. Please. As if they can like thingy underwater. Yep, we tried to save him. We should have gone around. God damn it. I tried to help him. I just said I started to go. There was another enemy looking for me. Clem tried to help him. He just Oh god. Uh no bells, no, you can't. Uh blame body for that. Son yeah. Of a bitch. This is your fucking fault. Kenny, no, man. So what? It's nobody's damn fault. is crazy. Why? Because your friend here turns out to be a shitbag after all. He's just a scared kid. This ain't on him. Look at this place. Just a stack of food. He said there was food and supplies. And magical supplies are bullshit too. What? No speaking of English? Fuck you. You fucking commie piece of shit. Oh. Kenny. Fuck you. He listens to us. What? Lose your taste for this sort of thing? you do to him? There's another just like it. He wasn't lying. You want to tell me how a can of fucking chili is going to help How is beating a kid to death going to help anyone? This is your fault, and you damn well know it. Nah, no, leave Kenny alone, for fuck's sake. I'm tying him up. Fine. Hello, Bucky. Mike, help me get a fire started. You okay? This hurts real bad. Mike! Mike's obsessed with this little kid. Like, fucking look, get a grip. Uh, uh, you got a light? I thought I had nothing. 
just... The captain. Obviously. Take a look at you, kid. Jesus. Why is he helping him again? Killed you. What the fuck is wrong with him? You're out. Kenny's out back trying to get some stupid truck started. Here, I should eat something. Um, just read your message, Bells. Yeah, I've been okay. thinking about it for a while, to be fair, anyway. I mean, he was kind of annoying, but... God damn it. <sighs> I shouldn't have come back. I knew this would happen. I knew it. <sighs> well, I'm glad you did. I'm gonna find something to clean that up. No, you're not. I don't get what Mike's deal is. Feeling better? Yeah. Hell of a day. But we gotta get moving. If you're feeling up to it, I could use a hand out back with this truck. This house ain't worth the crap, but the vehicles ain't in bad shape. Yeah, sure, Kenny. That's the spirit, darling. I'll wait for you out back. I'll watch her. Yeah, maybe, Matt. I'm always going to stick with him. What did she have to say? I know she was running her mouth. What did she say? You shouldn't have done that to Arvo. I know. I know, Clem, but, but Luke... I don't care. You can't do that. Jesus, Clem, you know me. You know I'm not like that. You scared me. You scared all of us, Kenny. It won't happen again. That's a promise. It's fine. I think it was fairly justified. <sighs> what happened? It's over. But AJ needs us now. We gotta stick together on this thing. All right? Come on. Let's see if the truck's gonna. So, go. from the original group that we met in this season, then we've lost Luke, Rebecca, Sarah. My had a half dozen We've lost them all, haven't we? He was a mean son of a bitch, but he taught me respect. A girl like Jane could learn a thing or two about that. You stop, you... We're all just tired. We're all just tired. Hell, I've been tired for two years. All right, give it a turn. So close, Clem. With a little bit of luck, I can get this thing running, and then we can get out on the road and really make some distance. 
Wellington's got to be out there. You fine with this game? Those rumors can't all about be wrong. Mexico. Let's go. What about Mexico? Why? You want a <laughs> taco? I've never been there. I went once, long time ago. Just before. Do tall, I... Kenny. <clears throat> I don't want to hear about your Mexico story. Did you turn it? Yes. God damn it! Yeah, I found this game when you find. We'll get it working. It's like that old saying, like a one arrival means that there's gonna be a departure. We gotta get this thing to start. Gonna try warming up the battery. Go on inside. I don't like leaving him with that girl. She's smoking. Where should a cigarette from? Hey. Mike and Arvo wouldn't shut up, so I moved him in here. That look before. Son of a bitch. He'll be fine. Glenn, he beat that boy with an Deserved. Eye. We are way past fine. Deserved. Like, sorry. I know Kenny's a nice guy. No. I bet Carver was a nice guy too. Do not even compare Kenny. Probably had a nice job, Carver. a nice pretty wife. Then all this happened. And one day he came to some kid's basement and realized he could sleep tonight. Kenny isn't Carver. He just made a mistake. All I'm saying is, start thinking about what happens if you're wrong. You two's known each other a long time. Sooner or later, we're gonna have to decide how much that's worth. I'm gonna get stuck with this baby. I'm thinking of anything worse. I'd rather actually be back with Carver than have this fucking child. Genuinely. Sorry, that's awful, but it's the crying. I can't. I cannot cope. Seems like you've done that before. Stop. I guess we're getting Blech. close. That's what worries me. There's not much left. I was running with some people. Yeah, all of them were set out to do it, Matt. Some guy got trapped in the middle of the crosswalk. I can't remember his name. He used to call me Mary Jane. He's a douchebag. Anyway, the dick got stuck under a car hiding from a dozen walkers. One after another, they went down there trying to save him. Lost four people before we got him out. All of that for one person? That's what I'm saying. Didn't find out till later he was already dead. Turned and ripped the neck right out of his old lady. The look on her face was like she was just staring up at the sky. Like she was watching a bird. Look, Clem. You got it working. Works, but I tell you. So what's the plan? How much food do we have? At least a week. And for the baby? Let's just get out of the snow. I'm all for that. 
I agree. <laughs> Should head back south. What? What kind of freaks did that? I don't know whose stupid idea it was to march up here in the first place, but it was a bad one. She's right. What if we went back to Hal? Wait, what? Fuck that. I was thinking more like Texas. Texas? What the fuck? It was just an idea. We already talked about this. I'm sorry. We did? We're going to find Wellington. Right, Clem? Wellington? Kenny, it's freezing up here, man. I'm with Kenny. We should head north. Goddamn right. Clem, my friend Krista, she told me about Wellington a long time ago, Jade. It's out there. Look, I don't give two shits about what you people think. I got this truck working, so I say where we go, and we're heading fucking north. It's the best chance we got to help an AJ. What I don't get, right? Welcome in, Red. Oh, the Rusty? Yeah, he ain't. R.I.P. Nick, indeed. You're just gonna leave him here? I don't give a good goddamn where he goes. He's done. He could die. Better him than another one of us. He's too dangerous to bring. At this point, thank you. Be right. He knows the area. No. He can help us. Oh, yeah, what I'm gonna say, right, is like they're all arguing on where to go. Kenny got it, the thing, the van, truck, whatever, working. Like, so Kenny's decided they don't have to come with us. He got loot killed. I'm gonna say he helped the situation, but maybe if you eased up on him before. Third favorite hat wearing character. Thing. Love that. About that Kenny? Either way, I'm not going anywhere in the middle of the night. Yeah, me neither. There could be a herd out there. You want that child's blood on your hands, Mike? We're all gonna die out here if you don't calm the fuck down, Kenny. Haven't we been through enough for one day? Jesus fucking Christ. Remember the last time we had a working car and sat around on our asses, Clem? I'm going inside. God damn it! Kenny, don't listen to them! Mike's become a right dick. He's obsessed with that little Russian boy, like. You better talk. Like, you better piss off, Mike. I hear Shut so. up. Close the door. Can you believe this, Clem? I bring them a working truck, and they act like I just shit yep. in their cereal. I knew Jane would have a stick up her ass, but I thought at least Mike would have more sense. He's turned out to be a real disappointment. I don't understand them either. Sadly not, Matt. Know, Sadly not. Look, we got maybe a day's worth of food for that kid left. That's it. Because you were always going to play as Clem in the Think later about seasons. I mean, what if Lee hadn't gone tearing across half of Georgia looking for you? A lot of folks died to make that happen. A lot of folks died to get us this far. I know. You're right. Someone's got to keep this group together. That kid's depending on us. <sighs> I wish Lee was here. Me too. I think he'd tell me that he doesn't have all the answers and to keep my hair <laughs> yeah he would we can't just it's give so up cold. on this kid I mean what's the point of going on after that that's what people like Lee knew and what people like Jane won't ever understand I know Wellington might be bullshit, but where there's smoke, there's fire. Krista heard about it too, right? Yep. You know, when I first saw you back at that lodge, I thought I was dreaming. And when you sat down next to me and we shared that meal, well, I could tell that you were different now, grown up. I 
I need you now, Claire. There have to be folks doing better than us. Something has to be out here. We'll find it, Kenny. I knew I could count on I'm you. I'm with Claire. you, Kent. Oh, I cannot get comfy. Look, and I'm we'll figure everything out in the morning. Not as cranky as I was last night. Oh God, I was in a right mood last night. Let's get some sleep. Cause we gotta be ready. Oh, you bastards. Don't move. I don't like Dimitri, not Dimitri, Easy. Dimitri, Arvo at all. Clem. Shit. What are you doing? I got the rest of it. Clem. We're just leaving. You're not taking the truck. Kenny got that working. Everything we have. Listen, we just gotta get away from that guy, Clem. Okay? Who? Kenny? Damn it. Damn it. Just. We don't have time for this. Just. Just be quiet, Clem. Shoot him. Please. I wish it had given me the option to shoot him. I'll shoot Mr. Broken Glasses first. Put your gun down. Now I'm gonna walk up to you nice and slow. And you're gonna give me the gun, okay? Kenny! James! Help! They're robbing us! You little twat. You absolute Help. Yeah, that's that's what you're taking with you, Mike. That's that's the kid you're trying to fucking save. Sorry, I, I didn't mean for this to happen. Oh my God, Clem! What the fuck did you do, Clem? What did you do? Clem. Clem. Honestly, like I would no hesitation. I'd have shot Mike because oh he's pick, pissing me off anyway, and I'd have shot uh, Arvo. Oh, imagine if this was true. Imagine this Just is true, and we were please. back with Lee this whole time. Oh, imagine. What was it about? Duck? He's sick. We don't know how this works yet. Maybe it's like a cold. His mom's a doctor. Maybe she can help him. He's going to die. I know it. You don't know that? I feel bad. Why? Nah, because fuck all though. Hollow. Hit the bug in his pillow. Oh, that's okay, honey. He didn't mean it. Why did Lily do that to Carly? I don't know. She was sad, Clem. That can make people angry sometimes.
because of her dad. People forget as well, like, what yeah. Lee did before we knew Lee. Do you know what I mean? Well, people don't always He was a good sense. guy when we knew him. How come? But he did a very bad, bad thing. things happen to everyone. And it's hard to keep being yourself after they do. Do you think we should have let Lily stay? Yeah, I think Clem's always meant to get shot, just like Lee was always going to die, just like Duck was always going to die. Well, it's not like math, Clem. Sometimes there just isn't He was right going to shoot her anyway. He pulled a gun out on her. <laughs> me too, sweet pea. We should have shot him. If it had given me the option, I would. No hesitation. For the people you care about, even if sometimes that means hurting someone else. I don't want to hurt anyone. It's not that easy. I'm scared, Lee. What can I tell you to make it better? That it'll be okay. It will. It's gonna get better, Clem. You'll make it better. Everything's gonna be all right. Let's try to get some sleep. Okay, Lee. Welcome in, Oscar. He got us. She's awake. Hey, you. Clem. Oh, thank God. He passed out from the shock. What happened? That piece of shit Russell yep. shot you. We had to run the truck to keep you warm. How do you feel? It hurt. Couldn't find the bullet. Must have gone clean through. It'll burn a while, but you'll be fine. Those sons of bitches. I mean, I expected it from the Russian, but Mike? I could tell they were working on something. I didn't think they'd go that far. Yeah, well, who would steal our food and shoot a kid? Never should have thrown in with trash like that in the first place. I can't believe they did that. I don't think they knew what they were doing, except trying to get away. Yeah, well, they're gone now. Well, good luck. Yep. Now that Clem's awake, we should talk about where we're going. We're headed north. What, to find Wellington? You sure talk a lot of shit, but you got a better plan? We head south, back to house. Carver's camp? The fuck kind of plan is that? I think Bonnie said there was more formula back there. And she does have a good point. Wellington's out there. We have to But when we, game. before we set out, like the start of season two, I think, we got separated from Krista and the plan with Krista was to go to Wellington. We were always going to go to Wellington. So, I'm on it. I can't be falling for this. She made up her mind, Jane. Clem, please. This is suicide. Why don't you let her think for herself yeah. for once? Why don't you? Me? Look, even if there is some place up here, it could take us weeks to find it. We could get back to Howes in a day. <laughs> Tell you what, we can turn around just as soon as you pry this wheel from my cold, dead fingers. How's that sound? Whatever. I give up. Get your feet off the dash. Let's play a game, Clem. I spy with my little eye an asshole. <laughs> your turn. Grow up. Go to hell. I'll pull this fucking car over. Go ahead. You're both being children. Me? I couldn't see the damn road. 
Bet you're having trouble seeing a lot of things these days. You shut your <laughs> That's quite mouth. funny, to be fair. I am done playing games with you, Jay. Fuck you. You don't know a damn thing about me. Oh, I know exactly what you are. Nothing. Nobody cares about you. And you don't care about nobody but yourself. That makes you nothing. What is it with you? It's your family, right? Don't. It is, isn't it? I'm warning you, you little shit. You're just another type A asshole trying to save a bunch of dead people. Shut up. Both of you! Stay out of this, clam! Don't tell her what to do! You listen to me! You mouth off about my family, and I will fucking end you! Jesus Christ, I'm so sick of this wounded warrior crap! Just pull over! I can't take this! What? Running away again? What a fucking shocker! In the end, you still only care about yourself, right? Where were you when Sarita got Ooh. bit, Kenny? Huh? Where were you? I was there. I couldn't... God damn you, I love that woman! Nobody who died is anyone's fault! We we all wanted to be together, and it just went bad. But we owe it to them to try to make the best of this. I'm sorry, Clem, but I can't put up with this bullshit. Clem worded that so well. You know the thing about people like you, Kenny? You're just a bomb waiting to go off. Everyone talks about you behind your back because they're afraid of you. That ain't true. Mike, Bonnie, Sarita. Fucking liar, that ain't true! Everyone around you knows that sooner or later, they're gonna end up dead. Sarita knew it, I know it, and so does Clementine. I told you not to talk about my family! Fuck you! You fucking piece of shit! Go to hell, you son of a bitch! Jesus! Whoa! Okay? Clementine is so wise. He's fine. You sure? Yes. Clem, you alright? Yeah. Penny, I'm... Wait, hold on. Go around. One of them might have diesel. We shouldn't stop here. We're running on fumes. We got no choice. When I holler, it's okay. Drive up closer. Anything happens, I'll try to meet you there. Right? Kenny! Well... Fucking the asshole. train. I can't do this anymore. I'm serious, Clem. I tried, but I just can't. Stop making him mad. Everything makes him mad. How are you not seeing it? Well, all you're doing is just making it worse. You're just like him. Clem, we could leave. Right now. Are you serious? What about AJ? Look, I, I know you're close to him, but... Kenny would never let him go. This is our chance, Clem. Don't you ever want to know what it's like to live your own life? It's snowing. Why are they moving? They must not be cold enough yet. Fuck. Get us out of here. I don't know how to drive. See that pedal on the floor? Step on it. Oh, just sit there. <laughs> Get out of there! The door is stuck! Shit! Shit! There are more of them! Move! Clem! Clem, hurry! Get out! Hurry! Jane! Jane, wait! Fun of how difficult it is to see. Proper blizzard.
Slim, I mean it. Please stop. <clears throat> I have to say that something big's coming every two minutes. It's gotta be warmer in there at least. Remember well now. Where's the kid? Jane, where is he? Where is he? He's What are you saying? There we no. go. I'm not risking any more spoilers. No, no not again. What happens? Just stay out of it. Okay? Just trust me, Clem. How could you let this happen? <laughs> you have to trust me. You're gonna see what he really is. This is really wrong, says Rit. Like, I lost so much respect for Jane. There's literally no point. Let go. Jane! Asshole! Oh my god! This is all your fucking fault! Piece of shit! Just go! I ain't going nowhere! That is fucking gross. Jane's really fucked up for this. Really fucked up.
she fucking the best of it is we'll talk about it after we'll talk about my decision after like i know i'm biased to kenny anyway right but the best of it is Kenny was right in killing it. Not necessarily in killing her, no, but Jane really messed up. She shouldn't be playing games like that. Like, you don't play with somebody's life like that. That was really, really twisted. So AJ was fine the whole time, and that's why she said, don't get, like, I'm going to show you what he's like. But th the thing is, she's provoked him. So, of course, any parental figure would react in that way like i would like to think if obviously i was a lot younger but if somebody had just told my dad that oh yeah they'd, they'd let me get killed nine times out of ten I, I would like to think my dad would absolutely flip and basically do what kenny did do you know what i mean like he's a parent that maternal sort of instinct would kick in so Jane was trying to say, oh, look, he's bad, he's bad. No, I, like, I don't think that Kenny's actions there prove that he's bad. She's provoked him. He's been going through a shit time anyway. Everyone's been sussing him out. Not sussing him out, because there's nothing sus about him, but that everyone's been on his back constantly. He's got a temper anyway, but I don't think it makes him a bad person. I think she deserved it, Matt, as well. It's interesting, and I do get people that sided with Jane. I do understand it. Because, yeah, Kenny is flawed, and he has got a really bad temper. And I think, psychologically, you know, he needs a lot of help. Um, But he's been through a lot. Like, he's not a bad person. Um, I don't think Jane was a bad person. She didn't deserve to die, admittedly. But she provoked him. She knew what he was capable of. She provoked him. Like, I'm not shooting Kenny because, J like, you know, at the time, we did, like, obviously Clem didn't know that, that Jane had lied and that Alvin was safe. Like, I just, I just don't think that, see, you say you can't be acting on emotions in a zombie apocalypse. I get that, but... Jane shouldn't be messing about with somebody's life. Like, she left him. Okay, she left him in a car. Anything could have happened in that car. She left a child. She left a, a defenceless newborn baby in a car during a zombie apocalypse. Works both ways. It works both ways. I'm sorry. They were both in the wrong. Kenny was in the wrong, yeah. But so was, so was Jane. It's a really sh she just basically got herself k killed and she knew what she was doing. He's alive. AJ. Let me see him. It makes no difference really anyway. I thought I thought we lost you, buddy. I I can't believe he's alive. It's a miracle. I thought he was gone for good. I thought she'd taken him from us. I just why would she? She was nuts, Clem. A disturbed mm. person that had her own agenda. That was she literally risked the life of a defenseless newborn baby right, to try and prove some agenda against Kenny. Hey, listen, I didn't want that to happen either. Kenny isn't a saint. She killed Alvy, Clem, and at any point she could have stopped what was happening by saying he was fine. She did she want the fight. fight. Yeah. I never ever hurt you. You understand? I was protecting you. You believe yep. me, right? Just imagine what she did to Alvy. Everything just went black. I... 
I believe some of Jane's, you know, points, and I'm not blinded by my loyalty to Kenny, but I just think she was. I just think she was way she way overstepped the mark. Too busy trying to pick a fight. Uh, Kenny gets on our nerves. We just let it go over her head. That's what you do when you're in a group. She was. Um, what do you call it? She was looking, like Kenny said, she was looking for the fight. She provoked him. And she put she put a literal, welcome in Elliot, she put a newborn baby, completely defenceless child, well not even a child, a baby, at risk to prove an agenda. And that makes her just as dangerous as everybody's saying that Kenny is, I'm afraid. Kenny blowing up like that. further we're almost there i sure hope that's a cook fire slim turned out what i miss uh just putting loads of spoilers in chat elliot a lot of spoilers in chat come on i'll race you to the top kind of hey my dad killed the only friend i have left personally we never trust him again but even if your friend provoked him and lied that he'd uh well he or she if if how can I put this now? So if he provoked your dad and said that, um, made out that you died, uh, like either that they had killed you or were some way responsible for your death, like there's two there's two sides to it, two sides to it. <clears throat> you cheated. We found it. I'm good, Elliot. That's gotta be it. <clears throat> it's about time. I can't believe we found it. It's about time. You were telling me. What are we waiting for? Come on. Jane wasn't a friend. No, Jane fucking abandoned the group anyway. <laughs> Some friend. We finally feel safe, Clem. Be able to sleep at night. Can he respond? Welcome back, Kian. Do as she says. Put your hands up, Clem. Drop your weapons. Approach the gate. Just a couple of people at the front gate. They don't look like trouble. Imagine if it was Krista at the top. Hi. I'm Edith. Name's Kenny. And this year's Clementine. Can I do a career mode stream in the afternoon? I'm working tomorrow, Kian. I stream career mode when I can. I'm I'm working. Hello. Oh, what a handsome boy. I won't be live at all tomorrow. What's his name? Alvin. Junior. Oh, he's gonna be a little heartbreaker when he grows up. Is there someone named Krista in there? I don't think Aww. so, dear. So, this is Wellington, right? A lot of people call it that. Okay, so what do we do to get in? Well, I'm afraid this is the part where I give you the bad news. this that's some supplies food water what? some medicine a first aid why are kit. you giving us this unfortunately our community is an accepting new member we're over capacity as it is and there's just not enough to go around if we keep bringing people in things might change you in a few months fucking kidding me i'm sorry i really am but we, we have a baby this this is hard for me too. Yeah, I, I, I don't really take requests for streams, Key, and I'm not gonna lie. I, I have a, somewhat of a schedule. Please, just take the kids. It's too dangerous. Oh, Kenny's a bad person, but he's selflessly giving himself up and so that we can be safe. Yeah, but Kenny's an awful person. Yeah. Kenny, I just a 
little girl and a baby boy. You can make room for that. You can take back the supplies you gave us if that helps. Please, just... I need them to be safe. And it's safe in there. I know that. Just ask someone, please. They won't make it out here. Please. Yep. But Kenny is a bad guy, yeah? I'll ask. But Kenny is a bad guy. Kenny's a dad. That's what Kenny is. You don't need to look at me like that. This is for the best. I'm not staying here without you. Yes, you are. No, we're not. Yes, you are. We have to. We have to do it for him. I know, Bells. You two will be safe. That's what's important now. Yep. We can take the children, but just the children. I made the case. That Thank you. Thank you. Listen, okay? Listen. This is your chance for you and this boy. I don't trust myself to keep you two safe. Not anymore. Please, I'm begging you. Please, stay here. Stay here where it's safe. Well, you two will have Thank you for the lurk, Elliot. No, no, no! Why are you doing this? Because it's the only way for both of you. So think about Alvy here. Please, Clem, just do as I'm asking. Just this one last time. You'll meet people. You'll make friends. People better. We have to. Okay. We have to stay. We'll stay. It was always the plan anyway. Welcome and Furious on Twitch. Thank you for the follow. Do you prefer Rick Grimes or Shane? I'll answer after this. You tell him, okay? He deserves to know. I got to... He's old enough. You make yeah, it will do. It'll, it'll keep the sun out of his eyes. That's important. All right. Cool. Keep an eye out for him. Please. Now, you take care of Alvin here. You, you live a good life, okay? Just out of curiosity, what happens if you come here Please with uh, okay. with Jane? Now, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I presume she makes Before some sort of, of noble sacrifice like this as well. One of us changes their mind. Because they wouldn't take, they wouldn't take her. And now, I'm gonna walk away. I might not look back. Not because I don't want to. This game made me cry a lot. Yeah, first time round, same, same. It is sad, but I ain't gonna cry. <laughs> Aww. Look at him walking away. He's got a big bag of supplies, though, to keep him going. He'll be alright. He's a tough guy, is Kenny. And he did the right thing. He promised Lee that he would always look after Clementine and he'd get her to safety and he, he did well. <laughs> we kind of got ourselves here, I'm not gonna lie. But still. He assisted. He assisted. I think Clementine can relate to Jane more than Kenny. She's known Kenny way, way longer though. Don't really know the first thing about Jane. I don't dislike Jane, but I, I can say like, all we knew about her was the, the bit with her sister. That was the only story that we got. It's 50-50 on shooting Kenny, so some people did. You are 21.4% over the AJ at Wellington. So what are the other options then? What are the other endings on season two? That's what I want to know. 
we were a minority in helping Luke as well. Fair. So Shane or Rick? I really like Shane. I find Rick quite annoying. Um, but obviously, what Shane? If it wasn't for Rick's, what was her name? Laurie, Laurie. Yeah, if it wasn't for Rick's wife. Like, I just didn't like her. I think she was the real, one of the real bad guys, to be fair. And doing what she did. Um, but yeah, I like Shane. So that is season two done. We go back to the definitive menu, which is the whole, all of the, the seasons together. The next one that we'll be playing is I can't believe we've done two seasons already so the next one we're going to be playing is called A New Frontier um, we take charge of a different uh, character there it's the guy at the front there uh, Javier Garcia and uh, it's him and his family basically but yeah, we take control of him while Scobbytine searches for the last person she has left. If Shane was not crazy, I'll go with Shane, but I'll go with Rip because he's not... Yeah, I, no, I'm with you, I'm with you. I liked Shane for a while, up until sort of the end that he was, kind of... Yeah, but I kind of blame Laurie for that. Um. Yeah, and then we've got... Uh, the final season and then a bonus bonus game as well as Michonne as well if you've watched um, The Walking Dead the the TV series you'll know a bit about Michonne she's one of my favourite characters actually uh, but yeah A New Frontier is what we'll be playing next if you save Jane from getting murdered you go back to Carver's camp like she said never go out looking for Wellington uh, so we wouldn't have gone out to try and find Krista then. That's interesting. Good to know. Good to know. Um, I'm going to just say a few things before I end the stream. One big thing. Been happening in a couple of episodes. Spoilers. If people continue to put spoilers. You will either end up banned completely from streams. Um... I get it, everyone gets excited and, you know, oh, like it's, I understand it, but please just refrain from putting spoilers in. I know that the game's old, uh, like I say, it's been years since I played these games, a long, long time ago. Um, I think it, I was living in, not the house that I lived in before this one, but the one before that, so it is quite a while ago. However, still not everybody has seen the game so there will be the odd couple of people here Matt is a prime example um, of people who haven't seen the game they don't know how it plays out and so on and so on so spoilers and, and that goes for any other playthrough that I do I don't care if it's a really old game that pretty much everyone knows what's gonna happen anyway or has an idea of what's gonna happen anyway I don't care like I don't, spoilers are no like by no means welcome in the chat won't tolerate it at all um it's coming the next season after the new one i think so she's in oh yeah she's in the final season um i'm not too sure if we run into her in this because it does mention it i can't remember to be fully honest with you um when episode three from season one wasn't out yet, nobody knew what was coming at the time. Yeah, see, I played them all when once they were all out. To be honest, um, oh no, I played the first one, and then I played two and three together. I think, um, but yeah, like just like I say, just just no spoilers, please. Um, expect to be timed out, and if you're putting multiple spoilers in. You're going to end up banned, I'm afraid, unless you're somebody that I know that is quite a regular. Yeah, it's it's not, I, I won't tolerate it. It just ruins the experience for other people. Um, so yeah, 
and like I say, that goes for future playthroughs as well. Uh, and the this, this same one could be said as well. If you're not happy with some of the decisions that I make, play the game yourself. Don't tell me what... I had somebody else in, I think it was when we were playing season one, I think we ended up banning that person. But someone trying to tell me what to do. Don't pick up that gun, pick up this, pick up that, do that. Let me figure shit out for myself. Let me choose my own path. The whole, like, the sole purpose of these games <clears throat> is for you to make as the, the player to make their decision it's a butterfly effect game so it's one of them where your decision gets you a different ending a different outcome and so on right everyone has different paths that's the beauty of this game like that is a that's a great thing do you know what i mean i'm fine with you saying coming in and saying oh i chose to not help that person because of this reason and i'll be like yeah fine don't come in and tell me what to do. Like, if, if I, in all me, it's the same as like when I do career mode and people are like, sign this player, sign that player, player. But yeah, backseat, backseat joint, basically. Yeah, I think Jacob said that actually. Um, but yeah, that person who did that got banned anyway from season one. It was really, really, it's really, I can't tell you as a streamer, you know, just as, imagine, right, you're playing your game. And you've got somebody in your ear going, do this, do that, do that, don't do that, pick that up. Like, piss off. <laughs> play the game yourself. If you if you really want to do that, you go play the game yourself. Um, so yeah, second thing of what's not welcome at all. Um, it is a matter of perspective, yeah. It is a matter of perspective. And that wasn't calling you out, Harlow. I'm just saying, like, if you don't like what I'm doing... You don't have to like what I'm doing. I mean, the, the second one as well, another alternative to that is simply don't watch or go and watch somebody else who's done, played the game the way that you wanted it played or whatever. That's that's another one. You make choices and get an idea. Yeah, because in Fable you can be sort of like bad or good, can't you? Welcome in Luna. Thank you for the follow on Twitch as well. Do appreciate it. makes the characters feel more complex in that manner yeah it's it's interesting and it, it's fun to know what that's why i asked by the way like what happened oh so what happens if you do that then um you know and i like i do like seeing other people i don't you know when i used to watch joe sug and ollie white play this game i wasn't typing in their streams like that guy was in back in season one like oh don't do that do this <laughs> like shut up but it does, and that's what makes these games so great as well, is the fact that there are multiple different endings, there are different relationships that your character can have. That you, you see other characters in a different light as well. One decision that I'm still torn on that I made back in Season 1 was um, leaving uh, Lily behind, who shot Carly. That's one that I'm, you know, because I think we did that, but then... In this season, we've excused Kenny on probably equal equal type of behaviour, really. That sort of irrational little flip-out behaviour. Was Lily a bad person? No, she wasn't. She just made a, a really bad error. But yeah, in someone else's story, you know, Lily might have been a hero. Um, I say it didn't necessarily make her a, a bad person. She just... She just made the wrong decision. A lot of people chose to not save Carly as well and they saved uh, Doug back in season one. That's another one. Like I say, it's it's the beauty of the game is like there's just so many different alternatives um, and different endings that you can get from that as well. I think Ben is another one. Um, the option to save him. I remember Jacob saying back in that season that we just played, you know, when Sarah fell because um, the, the deck broke and we were helping Jane up and we could have gone to save Sarah, but we chose to help Jane. Again, that's another one. But Jacob did say that either way, Sarah, like, dies in that situation anyway. And like I say, we all knew that Sarah, I mean, anybody could spot that Sarah was never going to make it. Her death was just inevitable. It's just a shame that she ended up going out the way that she did because... It actually wasn't really her doing it. She was very unlucky. Very unlucky. Um, it wasn't like she just froze up and wouldn't move. 
you know, she did do that, but we managed to snap her out of that and we got her out of that um, that room, didn't we, through the skylight thing. Was it a trailer? I think it was a trailer, wasn't it? Yeah, we got her out of there. But then, yeah, she dies afterwards. So I think there's a way that you can leave her in the trailer as well. And she dies there, so... I was saying that would have been her own doing. Um, but either way, she was, like... She was one of them characters that's just destined to to not be there as well as the other like scripted events are obviously like Rebecca's death as well she she I think with Rebecca when she gave birth I think she lost too much blood from all of that um and then obviously she was out walking in the freezing cold like she just kind of died from from blood loss basically um and then she turned really quick into a into a walker so we shot her again I think if you I think if somebody else shoots her um, that kind of puts that on someone else, so that that maybe could give you a bit of different dialogue as well. I say like different decisions; they don't always have different outcomes, but they can create sort of different dialogue. So maybe you'd start a conversation with a character, and then you see that character in a bit of a different light. It's just it's part of the game, really. I haven't seen anybody save Doug. He was a smart fella, and I chose him. Really. See, I, I saved him the first time... It, I saved him. I saved Carly the first time that I played. Uh, and the second... I can't think of... I'm sure I saw somebody save, save Doug. And I can't remember who it was. But somebody did save Doug, yeah, that I watched. I don't think it was Joe. I don't think it was Joe or Ollie. But somebody did save him. Um, which is an interesting one. Um, but yeah, we are going to wrap up there. And I reckon... Have we got anybody live? CD87. Do I know who that is? We'll raid them anyway. They're doing some football manager. I nearly did football manager tonight. Very, very close. So stick around because... Ow, ow, ow. Would you do a replay for this and do the opposite choice? Probably not. I think because I've already played the games... I can't remember. I think I played them once. Have I played... I might have played some of them, like, some of the seasons more than once. But no, I wouldn't play the full lot again. Um, it's been nice to revisit it. Um, and I'm enjoying the playthrough because it's been a while since I've like since I've played it but I think what I would do maybe in the future is just watch somebody else play it there we go it's a same it's a shame that you don't see Glenn as well because he just leaves he just goes off to do it. I think he goes back to Georgia, does he say? To go do his own, to go find his family or his friends or something. So, but yeah, I've set, sorted out the raid now, by the way. Uh, but thanks for watching. Do appreciate it. Like I say, um, everyone I think that's in currently has behaved all right. But I know in the past and earlier as well, it's just spoilers are a no-go. Um, and going back to season one as well, just, yeah. Don't tell me how to play a game. I've been gaming for long enough to know I'll play a game. <laughs> it's very, very patronising. But, um, yeah, we'll see you all. I, I don't expect to be live tomorrow. I'm working uh, I'm working three until close. Um, Saturday is my day off, though, so I, I should be back Saturday. I'm not too sure what we'll be doing. Um, I felt really... Do you know what? I was actually kind of glad to see the Ultimate Team was down earlier because I thought, I don't really fancy playing it anyway. But I'll see how I'm feeling Friday and what we what we decide to do. But yeah, I'll see you all later. It's a shame we don't know what happens to Mike and Bonnie. I don't think we see them again, but 